Hey folks, so today I've got a very special, special treat for you. Um, a car that I just took in for an interior detail and I have now finished on it. Um, a car that, you know, once the C392 comes out in a few years, I may end up buying. So without further ado, this is the uh, Chrysler 300 redesign after 2015. So this is a 2015 to 2021 model. I did not do the outside because uh, it is raining out. So I just did the inside. But let's step foot inside the vehicle. I'm going to close all the doors here. Nice solid sounding thud on the door. Going to close the door, hop in the vehicle. Oh, and you're inside. So without further ado, this is the interior of the Chrysler 300. Um, this is a limited V6 model. Like I said, I just did an interior clean on it. It's pretty, uh, pretty clean, pretty nice. It's all glossed up. I like the gloss. And this is what it has to offer. So, you know, I've got another large size vehicle in my Genesis uh, 5.0 R spec. And that was in the day that was the direct competitor to this 300. But after spending some time driving this vehicle, I can say that, um, you know, my Genesis as being the R spec model is more sporty. But I cannot wait to get my hands on the C392 model because... After spending some time in this interior, it's very quiet, very uh, uh, quality. Quality-wise, is up pretty high, and it's also a large, fun-to-drive vehicle. So, you know, the V6 acceleration is very slow. Um, I will say that. But the handling is what you expect from a full-size vehicle. Um, you get a uh, 5.7 Hemi in this, or the 6.4, and this car is going to fly so again you know you're in this vehicle you almost feel like you're in a truck i mean it, it's a bank vault you're secure there's plenty of room i got my seat all the way back there's plenty of room for the people in the back um, the seats are comfortable you know you'd like to feel some more bolstering but this is the limited model so you're not going to get that but uh very quality. I like all the soft touch materials. Um, you know, my family owns a lot of uh, uh, Mopar products, FCA products. So basically everything in here is is similar to what, you know, you would expect from any other Mopar vehicle. So you have your center console here, which is very large. I like that. You've got a little area for storage uh, underneath the infotainment. Of course, you get the 8.4 Uconnect infotainment. A lot of soft touch here on the doors. This is not soft touch, I believe, because of uh, it, it not being a C or a Platinum or an S model. It's just the limited V6. But either way, you feel like you are highly protected in this in this 300 and uh, you have a lot of space. Um, another thing, even without the sunroof, another thing I want to point out here is the amount of visibility you have. Um, the B pillar does not get in the way of seeing out the back of this car. You know, I have more visibility in this 300 than I do in my Genesis. So I do like that a lot. Um, although the windows are smaller, it's not quite the bubble cockpit that you get in the Genesis. Although um, I am thoroughly impressed with the uh, amount of vision that you get out of this vehicle. So, I mean, if you're looking for a quality vehicle under $30,000 used, either in a V6 or V8 model, this is the way to go. As I was saying about the space of the vehicle, I have to be a little careful since I freshly detailed this. This is me basically sitting all the way back and I am hunkered in this vehicle pretty good. Um, once we close the door, whew, I've got more than enough space here, more than enough space. I probably got 
six to eight inches of leg room there besides where I'm sitting. So this is a great place to spend time if you're on any sort of family road trip or function like that. And uh, yeah, great, that's awesome. So, you know, going back to it here, talking about the price and everything, um, to find a vehicle, you know, a Dodge Charger or 300, I prefer the 300 over the Charger. Both are very nice vehicles. So this is about your best bet for a large size vehicle with all wheel drive under, you know, 30,000 miles for a decent amount of mileage on the car, either a Hemi V8 or a Pentastar V6. You know, um, you get good qualities in this vehicle. I have standard heated seats, no heated steering wheel, although that is an option along with cooled seats. But uh, everything's straightforward, very easy to use. Um, and I just feel like this is a quality vehicle. So if you're looking for one of these, this is in the Delmonico Red or Red Velvet, same as my Ram 1500. Um, I would highly recommend searching your local Chrysler dealer and getting a 300. Pretty impressed with this vehicle.